Welcome, my friend. I appreciate you coming all this way. Oh, do forgive me for not shaking hands. My hospitality exceeds my reach. <laughs> Before we begin, I'll ask that you keep an open mind to what you're about to hear. The source of my information is, um, unconventional. I get the feeling this isn't a standard military operation. Your instincts are one of the many reasons you were summoned for this mission. As a Jedi, you are already attuned to the Force. But you must deepen your connection to see as I do. Concentrate with me. Focus your mind. Feel the Force around us. Hear its echoes. Yes. The Force is with us. She is here. A Jedi without physical form. Her body is long dead, but her wisdom essence lives on. I encountered a fallen Jedi who did this, and a Sith whose will lived on long after death. He could possess another living being. Sith who persist beyond death are aberrations. Expressions of greed and pride for a pure Jedi to do this? Something terrible has happened. The darkness will consume all it touches. Stars will burn black. Ashes raining on lifeless worlds. Everything ends. The prisoner holds the darkness at bay. Lost inside it for three hundred years. His strength will fail. Then, he will become the darkness. This prisoner has been fighting the Empire for centuries? How is he still alive? The bond weakens, my friend. I'll take things from here. She's told me many things. Revealed the existence of an Imperial prison in the constantly shifting Maelstrom Nebula, and a way to get there. The only way to navigate the Maelstrom is using a Gree computer, hidden at an Imperial fortress. We need that computer to free the Jedi prisoner. That's what I do best. The fortress we're invading is on the planet Taral V, enemy territory protected by Imperial warships. Too many to fight. But we have a captured Imperial shuttle that can sneak past the sentries. It's waiting for you in the hangar. You can fill me in on the rest while we travel. There's no time to waste. Our fleet will hide at the system's edge, so I can monitor your mission and guide you. If something goes wrong, we'll come running. Now go to the shuttle, my friend, and may the Force be with you. Word of your amazing success has preceded you. Well done. But events are moving faster than we anticipated. The Council is calling an emergency conference with the Supreme Chancellor, and we need you to attend. Whatever the Order requires, I stand ready. Excellent. I knew we could rely on you. The conference is being held on Tython, at the Temple. Come as soon as you can. There is also... another matter we should talk of in person. They need to talk? Hmm. Trust me, Jedi, nothing good ever follows those words. They've certainly piqued my interest. I'd hope not. But as such illustrious personages demand our presence, I suppose we shouldn't keep them waiting. The Supreme Chancellor! This is so exciting! Ugh, and no time to recompile my hair! Ah, welcome. Supreme Chancellor, 
allow me to present the only living Barsenthor of the Jedi Order. The Council has told me of your exploits. Remarkable. You may be exactly the person I need. What can I do for you, Chancellor? You may not be aware that the Empire is not our only concern. The Republic itself is on the brink of collapse. Across the galaxy, many worlds are talking about secession. Even open rebellion against the Republic. The Republic has survived intact for thousands of years. What has changed? The threat of the Empire has strained us all. Dwindling resources, attacks, trade being lost. It's taken a toll. A small league of powerful planets and individuals has emerged, calling themselves the Rift Alliance. This Rift Alliance claims to have lost all faith in the Republic. Those worlds are threatening to sever all ties, permanently. But the Republic is badly weakened. The Rift Alliance controls critical resources, armies, trade centers. If they leave, the Republic will die. If this Rift Alliance's worlds are still part of the Republic, then there's hope for reconciliation. I want to assign a Jedi as my representative to the Rift Alliance. To prove the Republic takes their grievances seriously, this Jedi will be tasked with solving any problems the Rift Alliance may have to restore its faith in the Republic's strength. When I asked the Council for candidates, yours was the first name they suggested. I'm flattered, sir, but I'm no politician. You've experienced many cultures and overcome immense challenges. You're the person I want. Which brings us to the other matter I mentioned. We would, naturally, not assign anyone less than a Jedi Master to such a task. But your patience, your compassion and wisdom show that you merit the rank. Will you accept and become the Order's newest Jedi Master? How could I refuse such an honor? Neil. And the Supreme Chancellor will bear witness. We are one voice, one order, bound together by the Force. Through her actions, this Jedi has proved worthy. Before our order and the Force itself. We grant you the rank of Jedi Master. Protect and guide the Republic as the Force guides you. Rise, and may the Force be with you. Congratulations. It is a pleasure to welcome you as a fellow Master. You've given me an example to live up to, Master Seo. I've convinced several diplomats from the Rift Alliance to be guests aboard a Republic flagship, the Fortitude. Rendezvous with the Fortitude and meet with them. Quickly. You are now my best hope to keep the Republic in one piece. I'll head to the Fortitude immediately. And thank you. Perhaps the Republic will have a future, after all. Hello? You're the Jedi they were sending, yes? I, I can't talk any louder. Someone might hear. I'm Nadia Grill. My father and the other Senators. We were all invited here by the Chancellor. Then the ship was attacked, boarded by people calling themselves Sith. Nadia, make sure no one can find you before we talk anymore. I'm in an air vent on the command deck. I can't go too far from the bridge. The one in charge is called Eriks. He just cut his way through the crew. Then he ordered all the senators onto the bridge and locked it. My father's in there, but I can't get to him. I just hid. Don't fret, Nadia. None of this is your fault. Please, you have to save him. There's a console on one of the lower decks that can open the bridge. Here, I'll send you the location. Please hurry. I saw the Sith tampering with the engines. We might not have a lot of time. Caution. Navigational computer illegally locked. Fail-safe systems have been disabled. Collision with Duralia's surface is imminent. Recommend immediate course change to avoid casualties. Get away from him. I'm warning you. I won't let you hurt him. Nadia, 
don't. You'll just end up shooting yourself, girl. Drop it, or your father and your Jedi friend here will die very, very slowly. Your attack has failed. Now prepare to face justice for what you've done. I see no failure. My mission will soon be complete. Your ambassadors will die, and this ship will be destroyed. Pitiful, like slaughtering Nexu cubs. But Lord Kairos demands that your Rift Alliance suffer and fall. Who is this Lord Kairos? A master I'm honored to serve. Hmm, my lord might find the girl an appealing prize of war, once she's incapacitated. But the others must die, it is commanded. And you, Jedi, are in my way. Nadia, don't you ever! What were you thinking? He might have killed you. I'm sorry, Father. I couldn't just hide while you were in danger. Charming, really. You will talk later, Nadia. The planet's looking dreadfully close, and I saw that Sith lock the navigational computer. Is there any way to override the Sith commands or shut off the engines? The crew knew how. But the Sith... They're all gone. That Sith also destroy the life support and fire control systems, so I hope you have another ship for us to evacuate onto. Please! I, I don't want to die! Shush, Blasus. Jedi, could we overload one of the engines to change course? We'd likely hit Duralia's moon instead, but there'd be time to escape. Just. I don't want to risk crashing on top of innocent people. No, no. The moon is totally lifeless. I'd never suggest it otherwise. Wait! We can't do that! I if we crash the ship into the moon, it'll... Tekalya Srek Grula Woska. I want to hear what she has to say. Go ahead, Nadia. If the Fortitude crashes into Duralia's moon, it'll change the planet's tides. Whole cities might flood. But the Fortitude's thrusters still work. If we work together, maybe we could steer the ship into orbit instead. You need to take everyone to the controls right away. But we could save Duralia and the moon, and the ship could be salvaged. Can't the thrusters be controlled from here? We need to steer manually. The consoles are around the ship. I'll show you. Which Jedi? Time's short. Either we steer the ship, or you'll need to crash it into the moon. We'll each man one of the thrusters and get the fortitude to safety. I'll stay here and guide everyone. Even I can miss a planet. It's all right, Dune. Everyone, stay close to the Jedi until you find a console. Quick now. Orbit over Duralia. Everyone's okay. We're all heading back to your starship. I'll meet you there. Looks like we're safe, but w w what happens now? As I understand it, we've been given a Jedi Master to address our every need, right? Every need may be a little strong. I'm here to secure your place in the Republic. Excellent, excellent. Shall I introduce everyone? First, Representative Alani, who can introduce herself. This is Diab Duan. He represents a planet rich in lightsaber crystals, you call them? Hello. Ty Corden, Trade Secretary for Balmora. You're the Barsenthor, the Warden of the Jedi Order, right? Yes. I didn't know my rank was common knowledge in the Republic. Next is Shuru. He's from a water planet called, uh, Punchimo. I, I'm Blazes. If you need any help from... Well, not that you need... Hello. And I'm Senator Toba Skrell. 
My daughter and I are from Sarkai. We've uh, only just joined the Republic. But we were invited to join this Rift Alliance almost right away. Wasn't that nice? It's an honor to be working with you. Ah, the Republic. Good at words, but nothing else. If you're really here to help us, prove it. What about Tai? His world's under Imperial occupation, and the Republic's utterly failed to liberate them. Twice. Alani, there were good reasons for the Republic to pull out. Even I see that. Although, if you did help to free Balmora, Jedi, you'd certainly prove the Republic isn't a failure. An Imperial occupation is reason enough to assist you. Technically, Balmora's not a Republic world, just a Republic ally. But the Empire didn't care. Since the occupation, Balmora's government has been in exile, myself included, and our droid factories are under Imperial control. But if Balmora's liberated, I'll see we join the Republic and bring our droid armies with us. The Republic would be honored to have you. The Republic actually helping Balmora? That would be... a start. Either we work together, or the Empire will destroy us. You'll see the Republic's true strength, but we expect your full support in return. Yes, that, that sounds like a, a good idea. On a Jedi ship? I never dreamed I'd... I can't wait to see everything. Balmora. Home. I never wanted to see it like this. I am... was Balmora's trade secretary. I was off-world when the Imperial occupation began, and my colleagues were exiled or killed. Our president... he was taken, and who knows what he suffered. Hiding or not, I now have seniority. If we free Balmora, I become president. The Empire must know that you're next in line. You're lucky to be alive. Several Republic worlds protected me. I owe them everything. And once our government is restored, I want Balmora to join the Republic. As a Jedi, I must stop the suffering of your people. Ty! It's... it's... It's madness. You don't have any supporters or, or soldiers, anything. That will change. Meanwhile, I have a contact who can help us. A revolutionary calling himself Zenith. Zenith and his followers have been sabotaging the Empire's operations. Assassination, sneak attacks. He's something of a blunt instrument. How can we place our trust in such a man? Zenith is connected, and he hates the Empire. I don't have the luxury of being judgmental. When you're on the surface, go to this location and enter the phrase Two Perspectives Are Aligned into the computer there. It'll get Zenith's attention. Hopefully, he'll be amenable. You'd be surprised how persuasive I can be. Best of luck. I've been... waiting to return for so long. What are you planning? The scorekeeper's herald should witness such an act of reverence.
Not even the scorekeeper could resist. And who might you be? From Oras Kajaba, Gurkunskara, Oregrexi, Rajo Ravnor, Dokunskara, Yanor Forita, Visadimo, Ravnorant, Rocky Hood Lexisknas, Wajur Lambasas, Parsk Botorak, Motorak, Gundar Polua. That still doesn't explain why we should have to go. We haven't seen your dusk shadow. Scotcharad mask osla, spetod tranis, gundak polua, your scam pokret, dusk tanga raschak, shivir skorsk, gus, zomkelis, gorraa, dosha plumchik patna, shivir skorsk, visa ademo, yanor foyta. Indeed. If you want the glory of a hunt, you must earn it. Wajur lambasar, parsk botrak. Your escape awfully close. Grand Moff Gilran destroyed the fortress just moments after you left. We suffered heavy losses at Tural V. The Dantuin, the Sirocco. More starfighters than I care to count. But there's no time to mourn the dead. We must strike the Empire's prison before the enemy bolsters its defense. Down on Tarot V, your Jedi friend sent warnings. She didn't appear, but it was definitely her voice. Good. She's a powerful ally, and her counsel is useful. Always listen. My technicians have plugged the Gree computer into the Telos's hyperdrive. We're already calculating a safe route to Maelstrom Prison. When we arrive, I need my best people leading the raid. You're the Jedi prisoner's only hope of escaping alive. Do we have a plan to free the rest of the captives? We're not just leaving them there, are we? The facility was specifically built for the Jedi prisoner. The good news is, you should only have to break open one cell. This mission will cost more lives before it's done. But it's a necessary sacrifice. The Jedi prisoner can end this war. Save countless worlds. We'll be jumping to hyperspace soon, head for the shuttle base. Be ready to launch on my signal. May the Force be with you. I heard that two perspectives are aligned. Zenith only speaks in private, and the Empire is always watching. There are privacy scramblers throughout this area, relics from a freer time. Switch them on and you will be contacted. So you're walking out. I came to help you liberate Balmora. The Republic says that a lot, then it leaves. I want to run the Imperials off Balmora, so Ty Corden's new government can take over. Unlikely. The old government's in exile. The Empire's too powerful. Hmm. Ty Corden was talented. Naive, though. Still, exile can change a person. No. The Republic has failed us before. Help me first, then we'll talk. I'll expect you to hold up your end of the deal. Expect what you like. I'm tracking the Imperial head of manufacture, responsible for building weapons and enslaving my people. 
He's operating from inside the Okara droid factory. Normally, no problem. But he has a powerful bodyguard. I can't get close. Go to the factory and keep the bodyguard out of the way for me? Then we talk politics. What kind of resistance can I expect? I've seen him carry a lightsaber. Be careful. Don't take long. This mission is vital. First those terrorists, now a Jedi. Saras, handle this intruder. As you command. Get back, Jedi. I'm apprentice to Darth Lacris, Vice President of Balmora, and this man is under my protection. By what right does your master govern this planet? You don't understand, Jedi. My family has always lived here, watching Republic interference hold Balmora back. But Darth Lacris can lead us to glory. The dark side can only lead to pain and suffering. You know nothing of pain, Jedi. Not yet. You'll pay for that, Jedi! Cerus was Darth Lacris' special apprentice. I'll have to answer for his death. Whatever you came for, I'll never... Come out where I can see you. Jedi, good work distracting the bodyguard. Allow me to find a position. Hmm. Missed my shot. Step back, please. I need him dead. You will not commit murder in front of me. This is war. He's the enemy. This man enslaves Balmorans, so he dies. No. He's a wounded captive and must be treated fairly. Jedi foolishness. Okay. I will send men to capture him. I found a safe house where Ty and his colleagues can gather. My people are smuggling in there now. This is it. I'll go on ahead. I hear Ty's plan. Excellent work. Two of my colleagues have already returned from exile. And we can work safely here. Plotting to give Balmora to the Republic. One occupation replaced by another. But we both want the Empire gone. Our goal is the same. For now. Unless we work as allies, we can't free Balmora. Well said. And one of the pillars of my plan. Balmora's strength is in the huge corporations here. They have money, political pull, and military droids. So far, the Empire has left the corporations alone, in return for donations of weapons and credits. They must be made to realize that they only exist at the Empire's whim. And they'll be eager to change that. After you both handled that Imperial official, I called my old corporate contacts here. We have their attention. Their resources are invaluable to building our new government. I want their commitment. They might see greater profit in turning us over to the Empire. Yes, but I offer freedom, plus a whole republic of customers. Director Fenn is head of Troida, and speaks for the other companies. He's asked to discuss a deal with us. There's an old records vault outside Sobrik he's chosen for the meet. I'd like you to convince him to help. I hope to be a worthy representative for you. The Empire watches everyone important. Fenn will have Imperial droids escorting him. For protection. Destroy them quickly or they'll report you to the Empire. Then it's over. I see Ty Corden picks his negotiators well. That should wipe your presence from the droids' memory. Director Fenn, try to. I've been considering Ty Corden's offer. Given that we risk Darth Lacris's anger if we are caught, we want a special favor. 
have nothing that would be of value to Balmora's corporations. You do. You just don't realize it. The Jedi have sometimes opposed our more unconventional weapons. Your ethics cost us credits. If we support Ty, I want to promise that the Jedi won't interfere with our weapons development. Such matters must be decided by the Jedi Council. But you speak for your Council, don't you? Wait, that's... the Imperial soldier monitoring those droids. Stay here. I'll, uh... I'll tell him something. I'll be never leave. I have information for you. How did you know he'd gone anywhere? Imperials used that record vault. Monitoring devices helped me ambush him. Seems Director Fenn has a wife and daughter in Sobrick. My men know where to find them. Mention that, and Fenn will agree to anything. I will take it under advisement. You're welcome. Better go. There. The Empire suspects nothing. So, can you promise the Jedi will not interfere with our work? I hear your wife and daughter are in Sobrick. Unprotected. The Jedi can assure their... Safety. What? Oh, yes. Very well, Jedi. We'll help Ty Corden. We've hidden stockpiles from the Empire. Weapons, blueprints, credit accounts. They're all yours. I regret this became necessary, but it's for the good of Balmora. Please, forgive my previous thoughtlessness. This password will let you access terminals in Sobrook to get data on the stockpiles, but that data is encrypted. Once you have all the data, take it to the sunken Sarlacc Cantina in Solbrick. A cyborg there, Banks, can decrypt and transmit it for you. Just... treat him gently. If Ty has more people like you, facing up to Darth Lacris should be easy. Goodbye. Are you Banks? I need you to decrypt and transmit some data. You're risking your neck in here, Jedi. Solbrick's Imperial now. Everywhere. Even in my head. <clears throat> I'd love to help you, but Darth Lacris discovered how fast I work and... Bang! I'm working for her. Help me, and I'll protect you from Darth Lacris. You can't stay here forever, Jedi. Darth Lacris has my brain busy processing a data stream right now. If I stop to decrypt this, it's the shock prod. My training taught me to manage multiple thoughts. That could be useful to you. I don't know. I might accidentally start unraveling the complexities of the universe or something. Okay, I'll try it. Close your eyes and listen. See your thoughts as moving lights in the darkness. Wow. I feel... I think I could process two streams at once. Give me your data. There. Decrypted. Sent. And Darth Lacris is none the wiser. I appreciate it, Jedi. Huh. Maybe now I can get drunk and work at the same time. We've been receiving the stockpile data. It's better than I hoped. Look, Director Fenn already sent droids for protection. I heard you and Xena threatened Fenn's family. Was that necessary? What if the corporations rebel later? Director Fenn will understand, once Belmora is free. I hope so. I can't afford any more enemies. With the corporation's support, we're secure enough to begin the next stage of my plan. Word is, our current president Galtha is ill. He's rarely seen, and Darth Lacris says she's acting on his behalf. But I need him. Unless President Gotha publicly signs over power to me, becoming president will be difficult. Do we know where Darth Lacris is holding President Gotha? She keeps him out of sight. There are rumors. Nothing concrete yet. Trouble. 
and Foreman and Sobrig just recorded this speech from Darth Lacris. By our dear president, after these rumors of a new anarchist government, we are pursuing Executive Order 228. Using it, we've unmasked dozens of resistance accomplices hiding amongst us. But rest assured, they are already at our holding facility. Once they're punished for their crimes, Balmora's future will be bright again. Darth Lacris enjoys rounding up innocence. Set a trap for a Jedi. Kill the prisoners if no one takes the bait. Win-win for her. Not if I have anything to say about it. Hmm. She'll expect one Jedi, but I have allies in hiding. We'll draw the Imperials out, you get the civilians. Plausible? Sounds possible. May the Force be with us. Thank you, both of you. We'll start arrangements to send those people into hiding. I know this holding facility, Death Trap. Here's the location. My men and I will go on ahead. Don't forget what we're risking for you, Ty. Because I won't. We got the Imperial forces to follow us. A few are being stubborn. They're guarding the facility and civilians inside put up defenses. Force fields are blocking the entrance. I must reach the civilians. I have plans with the locations of the generators powering those force fields. Shut those down, the facility's open. Back to work. Be careful. Being cut down out here, Jedi. I won't let Darth Lacris win. Placed all our concussion charges around the facility. Shockwave will kill everyone inside. Timer's already counting down. Get everyone out now. How can you risk all these people for this vendetta of yours? Life under Darth Lacris isn't worth living. I'll pull out, find the civilians you freed. Get the others and head to this outpost. If I'm not there, report to Ty. Terminal safe. He needs to know. Jedi, you're alive! We've been getting reports of explosions near the holding facility. This line seems secure. First, are all the civilians safe? They were all free long before the facility blew. Ah, wonderful. We've already arranged hiding places. Where's Zenith? I need to coordinate with her. Should guard your back better, Jedi. You might end up like my people. I could have died in that facility, along with dozens of innocents. I was killing the enemy. You want to yell, okay. Just listen to this man first. I was in that place, Jedi. If you're looking for President Galtha, I know where they got him. Is he a captive, or Darth Lacris' accomplice? I... don't know, sir. I just saw him being smuggled in and out of the Balmoran Arms factory by the Imperials. This knowledge could save Balmora. I hope so. We just want our lives back. Darth Lacris isn't stupid. She'll guess Galtha's location is out. If I were her, I'd move him right away. If the President vanishes, we'll have a long, slow slog ahead of us. Jedi, I need you to get him out of the factory. I'm going with you. Darth Lacris has lived too long. I don't want you involved. You're dangerous and irresponsible. I'll be good. Plus, you need me. Only I know the factory's defense shutdown codes. You won't reach the President without me. You can come. But we have a higher purpose than revenge. I'll try to remember. Factory's big. I'll go on ahead and scout. Meet me at this position outside. There's a beacon there. Input this code, and I'll find you. I can't be signed into power without a committee of Balmora citizens. Sir, if I find you a refuge, would you help me call them together? 
Sure, Mr. Corden. You can count on me. Be careful in there, both of you. Balmoran Arms is an Imperial stronghold, and Darth Lacris might be expecting you. Stay quiet. It's a bad place to be hanging around. Activity spiked inside. Security changes. Transport arrangements. Guess Darth Lacris is about to move the President. I see no need for hesitation here. Passwords are all being changed. You'll need me to get to her. Let's go, Jedi. Hmm. Not very subtle. Let me. President should be close by. Let's go. More meddling in my affairs. This is beyond tiresome, Zenith. I decreed that Balmora would not become a forced labor world, and my reward? Your insolent little rebellion. Now this resistance government. You've given him delusions of grandeur, Jedi. But Balmora is mine. The people are with us. The corporations, too. Your occupation is over. Ah, so you want President Galfa. Useless as ever. Though a tad more decorative now. Even Thord, he can't help you. Your government is doomed. How sad. This movement is larger than a single person. We're hidden across Balmora. Thousands waiting in secret. Then I shall cull the citizens of Balmora. I'm not without mercy. I'll grant you a swift death, rather than make you witness your plans tumbling down. happier to outlive someone. One death's too good for her. Troubling, though. What she said before about the President sounded too... honest. I sensed no deceit when she spoke. I can get President Galtha back to the safe house, start his thaw. Meet me there. And be quick. Something's not right. Ty's gone to meet his citizens' committee, coming to witness their new president's inauguration. Hooray for the resistance. Darth Lacris got the last laugh. Meet our noble president. Lonely. Gone. All. Who? Ah, no more. No more. Don't be afraid. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with us. Stars. All round. Blind. No, too many. Imperial torture shattered him. He can't hand over power. Lacris knew. No. The Empire can't win. We must fix this. I know a technique that helps people driven mad by darkness. Then try it.
No, can't be. Can't be. Go away. Fear this. He's broken, not corrupted. Hmm. Corporations donated medical technology. There's a spinal implant, hacks into the brain and muscle functions. He'd speak properly, sign his name. Experimental tech, though, wouldn't last long and it might kill him. The tie will be in power, and I doubt the president would want to live like this. I don't want Ty to become president because of a trick. If Balmorans see President Galtha like this, after all we've suffered, they'll crack. Ty's presidency will fail. The end. If Balmora wants a great future, it must acknowledge its past. If you're wrong, we lose everything. I hope you can handle that. We heard about Darth Lacris. Citizens are already rising up in Sobrik. The occupation is ending. Sir, it's marvelous to see you again. My exile was too long. Empty. All. Now. Go. Gone. Ugh. Sir, it's Ty, your trade secretary. What's wrong with him? His time as Darth Lacris's prisoner has left him little more than a shell. No, this can't be. He's... he's our leader. Imperial atrocities. This is why we must never stop fighting against the Empire. President Gothe is incapacitated. A senior official, Ty. You inherit his office. I didn't want it to happen like this. Ty Corden, we as fellow citizens of Balmora bear witness to your ascension to the office of President. I pledge to carry out my duties with honesty, integrity, and compassion for Balmora. This will be a difficult time. Set an example for your people. Guide them well. As my first act, I've drafted a formal request for Balmora to join the Republic. Is there anything you'd like to say on this historic occasion, Master Jedi? You all stand on the threshold of a new beginning. For Balmora, and for the Republic that waits to embrace you. And I hope the Jedi Order will always be a part of that future. I have a few points of business to finish aboard your ship before I leave, Jedi. There's a matter we three need to discuss in private. Zenith, perhaps you should join us there. A remarkable achievement. Balmora couldn't ask for a better leader. Here, Jedi. I'll authorize Ty's request for Republic membership. Hey, Ty. You'd better get started on an heir. Presidents have heirs, right? You know, Nadia, I'm really going to miss you. Jedi has what she wanted, Ty. Balmora and the Republic. Now I want a seat in your government. This doesn't sound like a wise course of action. I'm sorry, Zenith. You've proved your loyalty, but I won't have you in my government. To truly free Balmora, we must purge the ideas the Empire forced on us. You've learned too much from them. His dedication to your cause merits a reward. He's still an ally. He's not going away empty-handed. I can compromise. I need a liaison between Balmora and the Rift Alliance, and a berth here just opened up. You'll have political pull and input on my decisions, just not on Balmora. Is that acceptable? Hm. Jedi keeps a long view, makes tough choices. Might work. You shoot anyone without my order, and there will be trouble. Think the Rebellion's out of my system. I've ordered thousands of new battle droids for the Republic. I'll stay in touch over Holo. Balmora is waiting. I, and my planet, will never forget what you both did. Thank you. My apologies, everyone. Could you excuse us for a moment? Jedi, I found something under our communications array. Look. Nadia, I know you're new to space travel, but you can't go around pulling pieces off a starship. It just came off in my hand. The Republic database says it's an Imperial monitoring device. Only someone on board would know where to plant it, right? The 
With so many people coming and going, anyone could have put it there. Maybe. But I thought you should know. It deactivated itself when I picked it up. So it's safe now. That, uh, isn't our only concern. I'd better keep this brief. What do you know of a world called Quesh? Far too little, I'm afraid. Quesh is a contested planet, simply overflowing with valuable chemicals. So the Rift Alliance built a research facility there, at a station. The station has developed amazing healing technology, some new weapons too. But they've dropped out of contact, and Imperial troops were sighted nearby. The others didn't want you to know. I hoped I'd proven myself by helping Balmora. Unfortunately, their we've-been-neglected attitude is hard to shake off. Attis Station houses the Rift Alliance's finest minds, and the technology and weapons they've developed mustn't fall into Imperial hands. I will do everything in my power to help. Thank you, thank you. I just wish I knew more about the situation there. We'll find out when we arrive, won't we, Jedi? We? Young lady, you are not setting foot on Quesh. It's far too dangerous. But Father, Atta Station is built with our world's technology. If someone's using the defenses, I can get inside. The faster I get in, the sooner I can protect the scientists there. See, Father? We stand the best chance of saving everyone if I help. As you wish, Nadia. Apparently, responsibility is a lesson you don't need. Then it's settled. Once you're on Koesh's surface, I'll catch up with you. If our station's even scratched, I'll teach those Imperials a lesson. So many lost for my freedom. I met Master Oteg. He left to inform Republic High Command of the casualties. They're devastating. You're a powerful Jedi, one of the greatest I've ever seen. Your strength will be needed for the war ahead. As a Jedi, I strive for peace. But if war comes, I'm prepared to fight it. You remind me of old friends. Long gone. My link to the Emperor is broken, but I learned a lot as his prisoner. Centuries of knowledge. I'll share everything with the Jedi Council. Then, I'll end this blasted war and the Sith Empire forever. If you need allies, you can always call on me. You gave me freedom. That's more than enough. There's one secret the Emperor never pried from me. A place called the Foundry. In the wrong hands, it can exterminate civilizations. In my hands, it will save the galaxy. You should return to the fight for as long as it lasts. Before I go, who was that woman who led us to you? She was a great Jedi. My most trusted ally. History remembers her as the Exile. To me, she was... More. Your shuttle to Python is fueled and ready, my friend. It's time. Goodbye. I won't forget what you did today. Neither will I. You not only saved him, but you helped spare the fleet additional losses. I did what I had to do. Nothing more. Humility is good. In moderation. Sometimes you just have to accept you're a hero. Thanks to you, we've taken a great step toward final victory over the Empire. May the Force be with you. Sorry, there were Imperial soldiers wandering around. I had to hide for a bit. You should always be mindful of your welfare. But I could use your help. Oh, let me take care of that. We built an Emmanuel release just in case. Now where? It's awfully quiet in there. I hope everyone's alright. I have to get this door closed before the atmosphere contaminates the station. I'll meet you inside. The airlock's closed. We're safe. These are the people who attacked the station? Who are they? Individuals who draw on the dark side of the Force and have no mercy. We call them Sith. 
Like the ones on the Fortitude, when you rescued us. There must be somebody still alive. We built at a station to survive anything. Yes, here. Some of the science staff are in another wing, behind a security door. With luck, they got inside before the enemy spotted them. Maybe we can sneak them out? If there's... Oh no. Look, there's an entire group of Sith headed that way. If they get in, the scientists... It'll be like the Fortitude again. Just like I said, these Republic scum have bolt holes everywhere. Let's get rid of them before the Sith take credit. No, I won't let it happen again. I won't. Go, get my override code from the console and protect the scientists. I'll handle this. Then may the Force be with you, Nadia. Ah! You'll end up on a dissecting table for that girl. You'll have to catch me first. As I suspected, you have a talent for interrupting my work, Jedi. But you're not alone. That girl's here too, yes? Fascinating. What's her name? She's under my protection. Jedi, if I want the girl, all I need to do is wait. I am Lord Kairos, and you're supposedly a Jedi Master, though this is a poor beginning. Wouldn't Master Sayo or Yuan have your diplomats in line by now? A Jedi enslaved to bureaucrats, and they still don't trust you. Senator Grell didn't even bother making excuses for them, did he? Takes time to be proven worthy of trust. And you can waste time humoring these people. Commendable. I know you, Jedi. I know everything you've heard, everything you've done. I know you killed my servant, Arad, to save the girl. You fought so hard to save the Fortitude and Balmora, yet nobody respects you for it. I'll be interested to see where your path leads next, Jedi. Goodbye. Jelly, who is that? The camera said that. The enemy is gone. I'm a Jedi Master. You're safe with me. A sword in vain. Es minding sa jan. Hoje a jat that a domino. Uge ere tuk medi taktiv es?
Millien Okman Pora. It is a Jedi's duty to protect the innocent from harm. Up ara jale fon upa uda mastat. Mas miwa, koti lea fo leon. As edje edlin dolog as vol hoje. Hoge ne kunk, toli ras ege mas fonal es. Mege ite letet. Hoge ne kunk, toli ras ege mas fonal es. Maybe it a little bit. I'd like to see the benefits of this healing technology you've discovered. I hear you've been the main key hoje. There you are, Jedi. See, I said I'd be fine. I checked the station. It's all clear. I'm heading back to the ship before Father starts fretting. I'll meet you there. Maybe hoje on them kept visible. We'd like to formally apologize for keeping attestation classified from you. Mistrust is a luxury we cannot afford. I regret not taking that to heart sooner. Please don't be angry with us. We're very grateful you saved the, the station. Though we'll need uh, t twice the guards to protect that medical research from the Empire. Spend the credits and hire them. Those medicines could be an investment for years. If you've all quite finished, the Jedi and I have matters to discuss. Alone. Thank you for protecting my Nadia. She told me you saw her outburst. I imagine you want an explanation. Her talents appear unique. What is she? I was almost hoping you could tell me. The Republic calls them Force Abilities, but to me they're Nadia's gifts. Her powers are stronger than many Jedi, but unpredictable. I hoped she would learn from you, from your experience. I know what Nadia's going through. My own Force Abilities manifested quite early. Yes, yes, exactly. So I knew you'd understand. My daughter looks up to you. Please, keep being her example. Now. Atter Station's researchers said a Lord Kairos contacted you. Didn't he order the attack on the Fortitude where we all met? The Sith claimed he knew everything we've done here. That monitoring device Nadia found. It seems we do have a traitor on board. If they've stayed hidden this long, we'll need more evidence to determine who they are. Yes, yes. That seems very sensible. Perhaps if we act normally, our guest will leave another clue. In the meantime, there may be another way for you to help the Rift Alliance. A group of our soldiers on Hoth has run into a difficult situation. If you believe I can help, then please go on. Hoth is infested with pirates who harass our shipping lanes, so we formed a coalition force to handle them. A quick mission, we thought, but those pirates just can't be defeated, and the Republic won't spare any help. I think this bears investigation. We can explain more when we arrive at Hoth. Until then, watch your back, Jedi. Got a good operation here, Jedi. But too many people. Inefficient. Can't watch them all. Everyone aboard has proved their loyalty and devotion. We've proved it to you, not to me. Be tough to adjust. Strange to be off Balmora, with political power. Peace will be even stranger. <laughs>